All right, we're talking about automation. So let's say you want to automate the volume of this synth. You have this sound here. You can click this here to make sure you can see the red lines. And basically, let's say you want to have the volume start low and go up. You're going to click volume on the synth. Notice how now there's a glass high string pad. That's the name of the synth. And then a volume thing here. Basically what this means is this red line is representing this knob, which is volume. So now if you click on the line, you'll notice a little dot appears, right? Now if you click somewhere else on the line, another dot appears. Now you can drag this dot and see how you have a ramp going up. Now look what happens to volume as you play. So it's increasing in volume because the line is increasing. Now, if you just had one dot, you can't, like, you, you need a second dot to, like, do something other than making it go up or down. So, yeah. Um, another thing you can do, let's say you want to do that same thing. If you highlight this space, notice how right now this whole red line is blue, but then here it's only giving you that one dot. So what you're going to do is highlight the space you want to add a line to, and then when the line is blue, you're going to click, and look, now you have two, like you have the entire line. So now you could do this, and then you could grab this dot, pull it down, bam. Now if you can't even see these red lines, click this gear button. That's how you can see it. So yeah, I should have said that at the beginning, but we're going to keep going. So here's some other stuff you can do. Um, let's say you want to automate two things. So first you're going to automate the volume. So I'm going to have this going up, or you know, going up. Now let's say you want to automate frequency, like the frequency of the filter. Look what happened. I clicked on the frequency of the filter, and now I can't see the volume anymore, which is fine. The volume is still, as you can see down here, going up. But if you want to see the volume again, you can click volume and press this little plus sign. Now the volume is in a new lane. You could have also pressed right click, show automation, a new lane. Same thing would have happened. So now from here, I'm going to right click frequency, show automation, a new lane. And now I have a new line, which is the frequency. So I can do the same thing. I can put a dot there, grab a dot here, watch this frequency thing. Oh wait, whoops. That's cool, right? Okay, so now let's say you want to do um, a customized automation. Let's say you want to, or let's say you want to do an automation by feel. Instead of drawing it in, you're going to like actually move some knobs while this is playing. So what you're going to do here, I'm going to erase this automation. And so if you did this just now, you'll notice like it erases the whole thing. Because if you grab this top bar, like if you like touch this top bar and press erase, it erases the whole MIDI clip. But if you just keep it like down low like this, it won't delete. Or if you keep it in one of these lanes you created, it won't delete either. So I'm gonna click uh, frequency and now I'm gonna press, so let's say I wanna have some sound like this. And I just did that with my hand. So what I'm gonna do is make sure this red button's active, press the gear, press the plus sign, and then you're gonna press record. And while it's recording, you're going to start moving uh, the frequency knobs. So here we go. And now you have that. So that's pretty cool, right? So now if you play this over, watch the frequency knob. Cool. Now, if you want to have this happening at the beginning as well, you can see how I dropped, whoops. See how I dropped that down again. I'm going to highlight this. Command C or Control C on a, a PC, Command V, bam, bam. I just copied over the automation. So that's the thing you can do. Um, you could have also done this up here, I believe. Let's see if you copy that, bam, bam. That's kind of nice. Now watch what happens if you copy this clip over. See how the automation's copied as well? Now you might not want that sometimes. Let's say you want to copy the MIDI clip over but not the automation. Make sure you click the lock button. That's gonna lock the automation. Now when you press Command D, the automation doesn't come with it. Okay, so what else do we got? We also can do this thing here where 
I'm gonna zoom in. Let's say you wanna use like a shape that's already in Ableton. You can, and just watch, you don't know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna highlight this little space here, right click. Look, there's some shapes that are here already. I'm gonna click this one and then it makes that shape. And now if I wanted to, I could theoretically, bam, 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 bam. And now I got this. And yeah, um, like I said, you can automate multiple things. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to show you. Like now we're automating the resolution as well. You know. And I don't do this much, but here's a thing you can do. If you press command group onto your synth, see this, then you press this little button, see this macro thing. Let's say you wanted to automate a few things at once. So again, I, don't, I really don't do this much, but I'm just gonna show you. So let's say you wanted to automate the octave and the level and the vibrato on one thing. You can press map, I'm gonna press octave, and I'm gonna press map, and then I'm gonna press volume, and then I'm gonna press map, and then I'm gonna press vibrato, and then I'm gonna press map. Now I'm gonna press this map button, bam. Now when I move macro, I'm gonna move all of those things. So see how octave, volume, and vibrato are moving? And so now if I automate the macro like that, let's see what happens. I'm gonna delete these other two things just so we don't have so many things going on. All right. Um, here we go. You see that? So yeah, um, I think there's probably, I think there's more stuff you can do with automation, but that's some quick, that's a quick run of a lot of the things. Um, I mean, yeah, you can also, you can also automate the mixer, so you can turn that off or on. So here we got, watch, I'm gonna do that. So now it's going to be toggling between off and on. And here's a cool thing you can do. Let's say you start doing a lot of crazy automation and you like the sounds of it. Um, you can create a new track and now I'm going to press instrument rack one record. And so now this track is going to record this track. Why? Because this is the input and I made the input one instrument rack, which is this track. Now I'm gonna press record here. And so now when I press record, now I have, I could delete this and now I have the audio. See there's nothing on here. And so now if I wanted to, I could start, um, you know, breaking this up, making a little pattern, whatever. Um, picture but okay um, what else can we do with automation oh here's something you might want to know let's say shit's getting crazy let's say you got the compressor let's I don't know why let's say you're automating let's say you're trying to automate the makeup I'm clicking this but I can't I can't see the makeup you know I even click the gear I don't see the red line why is that that's because you need to click show all parameters now that I click show all parameters if I click look it shows up now you might wonder where'd it go? Well, I'll show you where it went. Like, let's say you're in a situation where, let's say you have a reverb, and let's say you're automating that. Here's like, we're automating the dry wet of the reverb. Let's say you're, you're here, you also got the decay of the reverb. You know, let's just say you're, you're just deep into something. And then let's say that you, let's say you're also automating a vocoder. Okay, you get the point. You're doing a lot of automation. So let's say at some point you didn't create extra lanes and now all these automations are still happening even though you can't see the lines. And so at one point you're like, damn, I have so many things I want to... I, 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 I want to just look at the lines that I... Like, because look, if I, if I click like here, okay, vocoder... Look at all these things that exist. Like if I want to modulate the filter bandwidth, I can click here. 
can modulate that. Let's say I want to modulate the uh, enhance. I can click here. I can I can do that. Whatever reverb, same thing. Look at all these things on the reverb. You can adjust, cut off, or cut on whatever. So the point is that at some point you might you might realize, wow, I've automated so many things. I just and I want to look back at what I automated. Um, there's so many like things you could look at, right? So wouldn't it be cool if this list only had the things you had modulated? Well, what you can do is you can click here and press show automated parameters only. And so now when you click down, it only pulls up the things you messed with. See this? So now I can scroll through like that and that can make my life easy. And then if I wanted to, I could create new lanes for everything, you know? Um, and that's chill. So yeah, but eventually, um, if you want to see the other things, you have to go back and click show all parameters, and now you can see everything again. Boom, bam, bop it a bing. So, <clears throat> okay. I think I'm going to end it there. There's some stuff regarding automation. Um, eh, there's one more thing I'll show, but I don't have a good example. Actually, I'm not going to show it. That's all I got. Follow me on Instagram, Alex Wilcox. I teach private lessons on Patreon. Go to my Patreon channel. This video was made for a student because uh, we were talking about automation in a lesson. And uh, basically, I made him this video because he asked me to. So cool. If you want to do that, go to my Patreon. You can get private lessons. Uh, it starts at 45 euro an hour and can do 155 euro for four lessons a week or 300 euros for eight lessons a week or eight lessons a month. I messed that up. 45 euro for an hour a month, 155 euro for uh, four hours a month, 300 euro for eight hours a month. And that's at the recording of this video. Prices may change in the future. So cool. Follow me on Instagram. I got new music coming on B Pitch Control, Ellen Aliens label soon, so check that out. Check me out on Spotify. Thank you so much. Subscribe. Peace.